Good evening. We can get started, I think. My name is Susan Art, and I'm one of half a dozen college advisors who work with college students who are applying for major fellowships. We join forces with others on campus, from CAPS, Graduate Affairs, International Affairs, to produce yearly this Guide to Major Fellowships and to sponsor this meeting. After we hear from this evening's speaker, you will have an opportunity to attend small group sessions which will meet in this building because each sa session will last 20 minutes or so and will be run twice. You may choose to attend two, two of them. Tonight's speaker, John Komaroff, is Professor of Anthropology and Sociology and Chair of the Anthropology Department at the University of Chicago. He is successful in the business of fellowship and grant writing, and his own work has been supported by various organizations, including Spencer Foundation, the National Endowment for the Humanities, the National Science Foundation, the Scientific Research Council in Britain, and the American Bar Foundation. Further, he has been a member of screening panels for Fulbright, NSF, MacArthur, and the Social Sciences Research Council. John Komaroff says that he has learned most about application strategies from working over the years with students who have applied for various grants. We are very pleased that he has agreed to speak tonight. Thank you. Good evening. Um, the job of introducing uh, grants and fellowship applications and the techniques of applying for them is a hiding to nothing in a way because I'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know. Everything I'm going to say is in one sense or the other obvious. However, like ob many obvious things, one tends to overlook them very easily and uh, one tends in making grant and fellowship applications to commit very basic errors and therefore are often to foreshorten one's chances of success in ways that are obviously and immediately avoidable. So apologies if I tell you nothing you don't know. Uh, and on the other hand, I hope that in reiterating them, uh, I will provide some kind of irritant, some kind of reminder. Um, it goes without saying that almost anybody who becomes involved in academic life, as a graduate student, as a professional scholar, as a researcher, at one or another time in their careers has to learn the techniques of grant personship. Um, it's a skill like any other skill. It's a skill like writing, it's a skill like laboratory technique, it's a skill like research, and if you seriously want to go further in uh, the academic game, you might as well devote some attention to learning it and to learning it well. Believe you me, an enormous proportion of success in scholarship hinges upon one's capacity to fund research and indeed to fund um, one's own uh, efforts at, at further education. For practical purposes, of course, the range of grants and fellowships available to almost anybody at any time is fairly wide. And I can't obviously cover the details. However, there are a number of general rules that apply to almost everything uh, that you would want to apply for. And I'm going to stick to the generalities and the particularities you'll discuss in the workshops to come. Um, but let me begin with two statements, uh, statements that in fact come back to haunt one uh, whenever one thinks about and indeed goes about uh, applying for grants and fellowships. The first is that the application process is in some sense a lottery. There are always variables that you simply can't control. You don't know who exactly is going to read your application. You don't know what their personal predilections might be. At the same time, uh, for all those hidden variables, you can shorten the odds a very long way. Uh, you already have shortened the odds in one monumentally important way that you may not even realize. You're at the University of Chicago, and um, believe you me, the institutions from which applications are made make a huge difference. Uh, one simply has a better chance coming from an institution like this with an enormously long reputation for high-level research, 
for high quality students, for excellent um, postgraduate work than uh, would be the case if you were applying from lesser known and lesser well reputed institutions. Now that may be uh, a, a, a phenomenon of elitism, it, it may not appeal to you ideologically, uh, so be it, it is a fact of life uh, and it's a fact of your lives that in fact will indeed play to your um, advantage in making applications. The second is that for all the, the lottery qualities, you can shorten the odds by a very long way by taking some very basic steps. The first instance, I hate to say it, but grants are hard work. They're probably of the hardest work in all of academic practices. Why? In the first instance, they take a great deal of care, uh, they take a good deal of research, and they take a lot of effort. The first most obvious rule, therefore, is when and if you intend to apply for any form of grant or fellowship, start well in advance. I can't tell you how many students, graduate students, start making grant applications on the Friday before a Monday deadline date. Well, comes a phone call on Saturday evening at 8 o'clock when I'm about to go to the movies. Uh, sorry about this. Do you mind reading my three-page application? It's short, really. Well, the Mark Twain principle applies. The shorter a grant, the longer the time it takes to prepare it. And there is a direct correlation between the time that you devote to it and the chances of getting it. And it's a correlation, believe you me, that we run over and over and over again in my own department, anthropology, which has an extraordinarily high success rate in applications for almost all forms of grants and fellowships. Uh, that high rate is generally predicated on the fact that, that our students do take a lot of time and effort. And if they don't, uh, they get rude shocks when faculty say, hey, wait a moment, uh, we can't possibly write a reference for a grant like this. You've taken two days, and believe you me, it shows. And uh, believe you me, if we put in for grants and, and fellowships with this kind of application, not only are your chances nil, but you also damage the chances of peers who are going to make application from the same department the same institution.